Okay, just take two, see how we go. Uh, because I get a bit nervous doing this. There's nobody here. And if it doesn't work out, I just press the button and there we go. Nobody has to know. I, I cancel it. I just get a little, I don't know, a bit nervous. I think, you know, as you know, I think, what am I going to say? I have no idea. So uh, anyway, are you all well? Everybody seems to be, um, well, most people seem to be quite excited about the crystals and the codes and all that the Federation is speaking to us about regarding that, um, which is fascinating, really. It's, it's absolutely fascinating. Don't understand a word of it, but I do on a different level. That's the thing, isn't it? You know, really, we're all very, very different. And, um, you know, I get lots of, I've had lots of people writing in to sort of say, you know, let me try and explain the codes to you. And I'm like, mm, really? <laughs> Thanks. Thanks a lot. Um, you know, <laughs> not that I mind, but it's sort of like my brain just, you know, as you might have heard me say before, if somebody says percentage or mortgage or, you know, something like that, I, I pass out. <laughs> I, I cannot compute that kind of thing. In the same way, I can't compute politics at all. I, I know absolutely nothing. I have no interest in it. I once had a four hour journey with my stepfather. So, you know, I said, T tell me, tell me about, you know, this party and that party, and I'll try and, you know, take it in four hours on the motorway. Next day, in one ear, out the other. Just can't remember. I cannot retain information that does not interest me. And I'm not saying that the codes don't interest me, because they do. But my brain is just not wired uh, like some people's are. I saw a fascinating video that somebody sent me in last night. I watched it and I'll put it in the description box. It's this amazing chap called Randy Masters. And what a beautiful man he is. If you've not heard of him, he's a musician, mathematician, and what he doesn't know about codes and shapes and gothness uh, is nobody's business. But not only that, it's, I thought, oh, am I going to be able to follow this as he started talking? You know, it was all about yeah, codes <laughs> and stuff and how this relates to that and, you know, the sound and everything. But as you went on, it goes on for about an hour, he was just the most beautiful man. And just so, I gained so much information from that because it, about many, many things, just because of the way he was talking about different things that came in. So I'll put that link on, in the description box because it's well worth a listen to, to this man. He's so, so clever regarding codes and things like that. And at the end of the day, doesn't matter, does it? I guess it on a <laughs> on a very deep level, not on a level up here, but on a deep level of understanding what they're actually talking about when they're saying about the codes matching up, you know, with our ethereal codes and and all that, because because everything is coded. But the fact is, although I get it on some other level, I don't get it in the same way that scientists and mathematicians and, and that sort of ilk of people do. I just don't, never will. Do we need to? If it doesn't blow your blouse up, <laughs> do we need to go, oh, I don't understand this? No, because on a deeper level, clearly we do. And he talks about all sorts of things, you know, which are, so, we all, that's a thing. We all know all this stuff. We just need to be reminded that we know it, you know, because, uh, you know, the, the fact of the coding and healing and sound and healing and, you know, saying the mantra and healing ourselves and others. There is so much power that we have within us now that it's time we started using it and, and not just believing and, and half sort of thinking, oh, I don't know if I'm there yet. Where yet? <laughs> it's about knowing it inside of us. And that doesn't have to come from ego or anything, does it? It just comes from this inner knowing 
whatever that is, <laughs> that we know that we are these powerful light beings and we can make such an incredible difference when we tap into that knowing and know it. Don't you know? That's that then. <laughs> no. Oh dear. You know, what can I say? Clearly not a lot. Here we go again. I've sort of got stumped because I was something took my eye over there, a car driving past, and I was like, oh, is that somebody? I hope that's not somebody stopping at my house because I'm amidst talking to you. I was doing a channeling the other last week, it was, and my phone was near me, and, and the phone, tr a phone friend, a friend phoned, and I was like, oh, I really ought to get this call. And so she said, Hi, Bloss. I hope, you know, hope I'm not interrupting anything. And I was like, no, I'm just having a chat with some aliens. <laughs> you know, <laughs> you're like, oh, OK. Um, yeah, so there we are. What to say, what to say. Thank you so much um, for all your kind uh, comments about my song, my second song for Goody. Actually, it's the third. I wrote one when I first met him 25 years ago, um, which is, you know, pretty crap compared, <laughs> compared to how my music has advanced since then. Um, so, yes, thank you for all that. And it is a form for me. It is a form of healing. And I did feel that hopefully it would heal others um, who have lost somebody. Um, why do we say lost? We haven't lost them. They're just elsewhere. Um, but, you know, this chap that I was talking about earlier, you know, he says about his writing, his music, how different chords, not to get too complicated, because I, you know, I get a bit confused with all those, but how different augmented fifths, listen to me go, uh, for instance, you know, they, they have very um, high resonating sound uh, for healing and different modes like that. And you say, God, there's just so much more then we know but we don't have to know we can just do we can just be i think that's the thing of just like you know all these things that we can learn should we be guided towards that space we don't have to know it because we know it inside and so what we have to do is be this you know as they said the other day you know when i said how do we activate our our codes to become higher to match those that are coming in and how do we activate our crystals i said is it just by being a you know a jolly chap <laughs> and they're like yeah correct and so i think all that we really need to know is to be jolly and it's not always easy you know we've said this over and over we're not that some days you have down days but in general it is about being, being jolly and through being jolly we activate everything ourselves everything within us becomes jolly also because we're programming everything within us to be jolly by being jolly you know i make myself laugh a lot got nothing better to do sometimes <laughs> and i just say something out loud or think of something funny and you know and i laugh on my own it doesn't matter it's about the vibration of laughter and white cloud has often said you know that when they sort of when i say look down when they look through perhaps um you know that when they see a group of people laughing you know the energy of people laughing they're automatically attracted to that because we have no idea of the vibration that we create when there is a group of people laughing. And let's face it, there is nothing like having a really good belly laugh. It's just such fun, isn't it, <laughs> to laugh. And I, I'm so delighted, I am delighted that people find me funny. <laughs> find myself funny I don't expect other people to find me funny but so many people write comments on the videos or they write in to say you just make me laugh Blossom and I find that an absolute honour and I also think well what a lovely gift to have to be able to to make people laugh I, I'm really 
honoured to, to, that that takes place. You know, no idea that that was going to be part of my little ensemble. <laughs> oh, right, am I done, do we think? Do we think I'm done? Is it time to bring the man through? See, I'm, I was going to say I waffle, but I've got to stop saying that because I'm just saying a little bit just as an introduction. And I'm sure I can, you know, stop now. <laughs> or think of something else to say. I, I, I've had people write in about, you see, I can, I can think of something else. People write in about their crystals, how they've bought them out from under the bed now. And, you know, they're like calling them all the different names and really sort of having the getting finding a relationship with these crystals which is what the federation have been asking us to do and you know so is it that this is time now you know for all this uh, everything seems to be coming into its own timing like like the uh, you know somebody sent me look two ladies in america sent me the um the medallion of the ees system so this is zero point energy look at where it's an earring look <laughs> nose ring um but you know so and, and i feel really good i feel really good on it you know it, it's time for all these things to start happening which is a really good sign i think that things are amping up you know aren't they will i be saying this in 10 years time as i did 10 years ago i don't know but certainly as i've spoken of the change in vibration of myself and many people i know is quite phenomenal and that has to be the, the, because it's a lighter change so that has to be because doesn't with the what could it be this what could it be with the energies coming down that we are rising up to match them because it is time because if enough of us weren't awake and light and bright and jolly the higher vibrations wouldn't be able to come through in order for us to match them if that makes sense so it is we things are happening to us for us within us as opposed to us looking out there going, oh, there's not a lot happening here. I thought this was going to happen and this is going to happen. And isn't November something going to be happening? All this. Oh, I've let go of all that, as I'm sure many of you have. Like when something happens, it'll happen. Stop, stop looking for it. Just enjoy. It. Just be jolly. <laughs> Just be jolly. And then when something happens, it'll happen. But the change, all the things that are happening, I feel is definitely happening with inside of us. We are moving into an understanding more of our higher beingness, which we all are, by being jolly. I think it's time for me to go. Because I'm being too jolly. Right, so have I finished? Have you finished Blossom? Yes, okay. So I'll bring in White Cloud now. Never have any idea what he's going to talk about. And I never have any idea um, whether the Federation or not are going to come in or indeed anybody else. You know, Auntie Nelly from number five who died a hundred years ago. I don't know. <laughs> oh, um, so no but that doesn't happen i think i've said in other videos a couple of times when something odd happened like that but in general um you know it's now reduced back down to um white cloud and the federation i used to have it when i used to do meetings and i remember one meeting there was about five different energies that came through like wham bam after the other and i felt a bit like you know I was an impersonator. It's like, who can I do next? <laughs> For my next trick, who's this? You know, it was just too much, too much. I was like, well, we're not doing that again. And I'm in control. Believe me, I'm in control. But I, it was just happening. So I thought I'd go with it. But I'm um, certainly, if, I, if, if anything, which, it, you know, in the past, it might be that I felt, you know, white cloud and then I felt sort of an energy change. And so rarely I thought, oh, hello, a bit dodgy and just stop, you know, because... As people know with channeling, you have to know that you are in control. 
the whole time. If, you know, White Cloud's talking or whatever, and I just want to stop, I'll stop. You know, th there's no way that I'm taken over. I, I don't know how that works when the actual being like me was to go off as it happens to to quite a few um, and then the energy comes in and takes over and that being uh, who's popped out has no idea what the energy has said and then when the energy goes they come back in well you know as you know that doesn't happen to me I I stay within and I'm listening the whole time uh, right I'm going to bring white cloud in as far as I know Please, I know you will, enjoy his beautiful energy. He gets so excited about coming through to, to speak with you and bring his love through. So here we go, hopefully. Here I am once again, a very warm welcome to each and every one, each and every one, not just you or you or you and not you, but everyone. I welcome into my beingness. And I send out love to you and I trust and I know that that love which comes through Blossom, through the screen, how amazing is that, to you, enters into your being and it lifts your vibration, just like that. And I can do this now for a long time. I could not do such things. So welcome to you, my friends. I would like to begin by saying, and yes, you may have heard it all before, probably, that those of us in higher realms are in awe of your stamina, of your dedication, of your perseverance, of your jolliness, of your beingness under such stress sometimes that is presented within the vibration of your planet. And yet, you march on through, do you not? And because you are the strongest of the strong, could you repeat all of this without me saying a word? Yes, you could, because I have said it so many times. But I desire to touch deep into the place within you that knows that knows, yes, actually, I am doing very well. Look back over the years where you have continued to march on forward regardless of so many circumstances that have pulled you under. And yet you climbed 
out of that mud with every ounce of strength you had left. You pulled yourself out and you stood up and you dusted yourself down and you looked towards the sun. And you said, right, here we go again. And you began your walk down the pathway of enlightenment. And would you say that there is a light that you see before you? that keeps you going, 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 when times are tough. Or do you now understand, my friends, that path of enlightenment is within you? You walk along your pathway, guided by the light from within side of you. And indeed, as Blossom spoke, in these times, as the vibration is becoming higher, because more and more upon your planet are waking up to the light within themselves. As you understand this, everything begins to change. You will notice different colors in your flowers, different colors of the sky. You can imagine why I smile, because Blossom is saying, of, well, that will depend on what is going on in the skies at the time. But even through that, my friends, you find the strength to carry on. And is it not marvelous that you know now that you are not alone in this? On your forums, I think you call them, if you have no one directly in the flesh to speak with, you are connecting up with your tribe, those who speak the same language as you do, from the heart. How deeply that connection with one another, as it connects, strengthens and lifts and takes you into a jollier place. And yet I say also, it would be beneficial in times of meditation to take your crystals and although the vibration of light and joy is within you, to hold them and seriously concentrate on the connection that you have within the holding of those crystals. You will feel your palms begin to pulsate. You will feel the coding. coming through into your being from them. But it is your coding that is being activated by them. For they remain within their bracket as the Federation spoke of. Allow your crystals, big or small, To become one 
with who you are. Let them, if you like, seep through into your flesh, into your mind, into your heart space. Love them. Truly love them. And we feel it is now that uh, the energy is changing. And Blossom is very happy to receive the energy of the, the Federation of Light, she is assuming. Dearest souls, are you aware of that which just took place? We decided on the spur of the moment to suggest to the Lady Blossom to experiment. by the keeping open of the eyes as that of white cloud removed to the side and our consciousness entered in. The Lady Blossom will be intrigued also to see what happened within the eyes, if anything she is saying, as this took place. Yet for her, by that concentration, as she could see a little below of the screen, it became light. And her image almost disappeared. We are so joyous to be able to come through in this way and use verbal sound to you. For as in the tone of a dear friend, white cloud, as we also come through with our toning, with our vibration of the sound, it changes the energy with inside of you. Mm. 
Do not underestimate the glory, the healing power of sound within music, within the knocking together of pebbles on a beach, within the sound of the waves creeping up to the shore, within the sound of your voice. Be aware of how the sound of your voice affects another. Listen to the volume of your voice in excitement, perhaps sometimes. Is that too much of a clashing of frequencies for another you are speaking with? So much healing takes place through the sound, the resonance, the vibration that comes through you from your heart space, from your knowing. When you are speaking with to another, maybe even about the price of your vegetables, from deep within you, listen and agree or not. But coming from another level of you, as you, through your eyes, send your light with the intention of connecting with their light, which you may feel is a little dimmer than yours that day, perhaps. And just by smiling from your heart space, from within, and sending your vibration of light to them, into their eyes, you are assisting not only yourself, not only that soul or souls, but the planet. Understand as you are beginning to, more and more, dearest souls, that as you recognize the light of love that you are, that is you, that resides within you, as you recognize and feel that light more and more, you then come to realize that by knowing it and sending the intention to the whole, to everything that is, of lighting up all that is within and around you. You are making such a difference, and yet you do not yet fully understand how much of a difference you are making. You are changing your world, as you came here to do. When you look up, if you are blessed with the sunshine that day, when you look to it and you smile, you embrace the vibration.
we made that sound of because that within itself can change the energy around you. The lady is aware we are to do something now and she is allowing us to go ahead and she is saying, yes, she will let it be and she will trust. Okay, I have to <laughs> inject a little audio here because when I listened to this back for the first time, I was like, the next thing that happened after this, after you hearing this audio, I was like, what is going on here? What's happening? And it is a federation. Now, I don't know if this sound is going to come out here now, but they were making the sound like this. That kind of noise. And it just didn't come out on the audio. I don't know whether it's the frequency of that sound or what, but I, and it went on for quite a while and my head was doing all sorts of funny things and to watch it without sound it was just too too bizarre and i was like oh no so i made the decision to edit it out and just bring the video back in towards the end of their funny little turn <laughs> um and you can see in itself of that, that it's, it, it is a bit weird. Followed by the decision being made, it seemed at the time, to keep the eyes open as the Federation retracted and White Cloud came back in. So I'm just preparing you because this whole next section until White Cloud starts talking, <laughs> just for a few minutes is a little bit odd. So just bear with me. Uh, yeah, that's all, that's, uh, um, there we go. Thank you. And now back to the, the video. And it is that Blossom had to concentrate greatly on keeping the eyes open as requested as the Federation of Light, the energy uh, retracted and my energy came back in to see again if there was a difference uh, in, in the 
changing of the color of eyes because many of you are aware that uh, in the normal fashion uh, when I come through and Blossom opens her eyes as I have come through the eyes are of a different color from that of Blossom's so she will be interested to see whether or not that took place by keeping the eyes open She also is saying that she has a little bit to say when it is time when I have gone regarding that which just took place. Again, I would remind you, it is the sound, it is the frequency, it is the level of light that comes through within that sound. The level of love that comes through in that sound. And while I uh, am just finishing up, I would like to uh, clarify for some, because people write into Blossom to say, is it that the mantra, I am the light, I am the love, I am the truth, I am, or you can say, I am the love, I am the light, I am the truth, I am. Does it have to be spoken in the English language for the codes to match up with codes that are coming in? My friends, do you think that the divine plan would be that everybody had to speak in the language of English in order for these codes to activate, etc.? Would that not appear to be a little bias? Would we say a little preference towards a certain language? A, it is the intention, first and foremost, of what you say. And to say it in your language of love. Your language that is natural to you, of course, of course, it makes no difference because it is the, the spoken word in any language of those words that have their highest coding which matches up. It is not that uh, say if it was in German that one spoke the mantra, they do not have to, the codes do not have to look for the German version of the coding, if you like. Because they, the wording in each language, when coming from the heart, is of the same vibration, of course. There are so many things, my friends, that you question and you wonder if something should be like this or that or what is the correct way. But your answers are within. And all you need to do is have a think about it logically. Why would one be given preference over another because of their language? Divinity does not work that way. I love you. Angels, guides, warriors of light from other realms, surround you at all times. You are not and never can be alone. As you continue on, 
doing what you came here to do. So for now, I take my leave. We give thanks to the Divine Ones for allowing this chat to take place. We ask always that we may remain humble in order to serve and to receive, and that we may continue to walk boldly as the light and the law. Adieu, my friends. Adieu. I should have kept my eyes open then to see what happened then, shouldn't I? <laughs> okay, done. Done, done, done. Jolly good. I just do have something a little to say about all that um, <laughs> stuff. And then the language that followed for a little while. It isn't the first time I've uh, done it. But I have to say, and I have to be honest, with all respect to all those, I do find it odd. You know, what is that? It sounds like I'm trying to, you know, feed my hamster. <laughs> sorry, sorry, guys. But, you know, it's like... <laughs> and then I'm like... I, I know I've said before, you can't make up, if it is light language, whatever that was, you can't make it up because your brain cannot think that fast to try and make it up. So if I try and make it up now, I'll go, oh, can't do it. But when it's coming through, your mouth works so fast, it's ridiculous, your brain can't even think, it just comes through. And to me, I've said this before and I'll say it again with the greatest of respect, to me, it sounds ridiculous. It's, sorry, maybe you listen to our English and think, or whatever, Swahili, and think that sounds ridiculous. I don't know. But to me, it's like, oh, please, come on. You know, it sounds like a little kitty on the phone when they can't, you know, when they can't speak another language and they're about three or four and they're pretending to talk another language and just go, you know, <laughs> that's what it sounds like to me. So when it's coming through, and I keep saying with the greatest respect because I mean it. I do mean it. Because I've, I've heard many people speak like language. It's incredible. But you know what you know what they're saying? Absolutely got no idea what they said. They might have said, oh, the price of cabbage has gone down in Sainsbury's or Aldi's or something. <laughs> Pop down there. I don't know. They might have said, the event is about to happen. I've got no idea. But I'm assuming by trusting that that little interlude of um, and all that feeding my hamster, well, I haven't got a hamster, is um, <laughs> was very profound. Although I, when I watch it back, I am sure I'll be going, oh, dear God, really, really. <laughs> oh, and they chose me because what? <laughs> Oh dear. Okay, so I'm going to go. I'm really happy that I've got a video done. Um, and it's very interesting for me to watch it back to see how it all panned out, really. Um, so all my love to you, every every single one of you, as White Cloud says. I, you know, I'm just so honoured, grateful. I just appreciate you walking alongside me and supporting me in the way you do through your love and um yeah it, it just wh why would i carry on if you weren't around <laughs> you know what would be the point so uh to each and every one of you really really truly thank you so so much for um yeah for for thank you for can't find a word thank you for being there 
Okay, so now I'm going to go, really. Um, I'm looking at this thing in the back there. Can you see that sort of feathered thing? I thought I was going to go. Here I go. That feathered thing um, that I've just had revamped. Everything, all the feathers have been done, and the frame is an original frame from um, something I had done many, many years ago. And over the time, it just fell apart. And um, I've just managed, and Goody bought it for me for my birthday once, and I've just managed to have it all revamped. And the energy and the spirit that is within those that piece there is just beautiful. I'm really pleased with it. It was once used as a portal, as it you know, as you do, as a portal to send some um untrapped long story, and I can't go into it now, but it was just um there were a few of us freed some Native American Indians that were trapped apparently within a, a dome, if you like, um, and they're so, they were massacred and their energy wasn't allowed to go through um, to the light and they were trapped by the dark into this uh, sort of space. And anyway, by weird circumstances, <laughs> uh, there was Goody and I and another couple who are very... <laughs> and... Um, we released these Indians, and so my kitchen was full of <laughs> hundreds of Indians, apparently. It's like, oh, um, I should have got some more sandwiches in. <laughs> but literally, it was full on, a full on time, you know, full on energy. And we sent the, this became a portal, and we sent the Indians, off, off you go, Indian, you know, off they went through that portal into the light. And, um, and a bit later, the chief or whatever came through and said, you know, just to thank us for setting them free and explained that they had been trapped to, so the darkness could feed off their energy and how, you know, they'd all gone home type of thing and how happy, how jolly they were to have done so. So, you know, it's quite fascinating, really, isn't it? All that, I was going to go 20 minutes ago. All right, then, people, I am going now. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, keep on keeping on. Talk with your crystals. Fall in love with them. Give them a good time, and they will do the same for us. Take great care. Bye-bye now.